Hi, this is question three from the AQA Decision 2 June 2015 exam paper. In the London 2012 Olympics, the Jamaican 4x100 metre relay team set a world record time of 36.84 seconds. Athletes take different time to run each of the four legs. The coach of a national athletics team has five athletes available for a major championship. The lowest times that the five athletes take to cover each of the four legs is given in this table over here. The coach is to allocate a different athlete from the five available athletes A, B, C, D and E to each of the four legs to produce the lowest total time. We're going to use the Hungarian algorithm by reducing the columns first to assign an athlete to each leg so that the total time of the four athletes is minimised. We're then going to state the allocation of the athletes to the four legs and the total time. OK, so the first thing to notice here is that there are five athletes and only four legs. So one of the athletes is obviously going to miss out here. Um, so in order to take this into account with our Hungarian algorithm, because it only works on a square matrix, we're going to have to have a dummy column here. OK, so we're going to have an extra column over here um, and I'm going to label that as a dummy. OK, so... OK, so in my dummy column, um, I need to find the highest value in this um, matrix and I'm going to put that in each of the elements of my dummy column. So that's going to be 10.31 and that's going to go in each of these. OK, oops, 10.31. OK, so now that I've got my dummy column in, we're going to use the Hungarian algorithm by reducing the columns first. So I'm going to set up my matrix in here. Um, and we're going to reduce all of our columns first. So in order to reduce our columns, we're looking for the um, lowest value in each column and subtracting that from every element in the column. So for example, in, the, in leg one, our lowest value is 9.84. So I'm going to subtract 9.84 from each cell. So 9.84, take away 9.84 is going to be 0. And then 10.28, um, take away 9.84 is going to be 0 0.44. And then we've got 0 0.47, um, and that's going to be 0 0.2. 9.91 take away 9.84 is going to be 0 0.07. OK, um, I can then do the same thing for my second leg over here. So this time my lowest value is 8.91. So I'm going to subtract that from each element here. So that's going to be 0. And then we've got 0 0.15. And then that's going to be 0 0.2. And then we've got 0 0.16. And then 0 0.04. OK, um, and I'm going to carry that on for the rest of these. Um, so you might want to pause the video and have a go at doing this yourself. OK, so I've now completed the table. You might notice on the dummy row, um, because each value is the same at 10.31, I'm going to subtract 10.31 from all of them. So that turns them all to zeros. OK, so what we now do, according to our algorithm, um, is we want to draw a line, um, so the minimum number of lines that we can draw that covers all of the um, zeros. Let's try that again. OK, so um, I can draw a line across like that and down like this. That's the minimum number of lines I can draw. 
um, that covers all the zeros. Now I've had to draw two lines um, and if I had to draw five lines that means that I've reached my optimal solution so at the moment I can only draw two lines um, so I'm going to carry on. Now the algorithm tells us that what we now need to do is we need to um, find the minimum value in this table here that's left that isn't covered and we add that on to any um, any cell where the lines overlap each other and we subtract it from any cell that is uncovered and the remaining ones remain the same okay so um, if I grab another one of these over here underneath okay so um, if we now fill this in right so my minimum value is going to be 0 0.04 so it's going to be that one there okay so I'm going to add 0 0.04 to this cell here so 0 and 0 0.04 just gets us 0 0.04 and everything else that's covered by one single line is going to remain the same so that's going to stay at zero 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 and then I can subtract 0 0.04 from every other cell so that's going to become 0 0.4 so 0 0.47 take away 0 0.04 gives us 0 0.43 0 0.16 and then 0 0.03 0 0.11 0 0.16 0 0.12 and then that becomes 0 2 2 And then finally 0.31, and that's also going to be zero. Okay, so we've now um, managed to come up with a new matrix, um, and again we we go for the same idea again. So we're going to draw lines that are going to cover as many of these as we can so I think a horizontal line here vertical line here and I can do this in three lines I don't think I can do it in any less than three lines that's going to be the minimum okay so um, again I'll grab another one of these and we'll come over here and we want to find the minimum of the values that are left so I think that's going to be 0 0.11 so again that 0 0.11 I'm going to add it onto that one and add it onto that one so that's going to become 0 0.15 that's going to become 0 0.11 all of these where there's a single line going through it they're all going to remain the same so they're all going to stay at zero and then I'm going to subtract 0 0.11 from everything else so that's going to become 0 0.29 um, 0 0.32 0 0.05 0 0 0.05 0 0.01 0 0.11 um, 0 0.09 0 0.02 
0.3, oops, 0.2 even. And um, 0 0.33, and that's going to be 0 0.16. Okay, and again, um, so let's have that line through there, let's change to red again. So we'll have this line here, and this line here, this line here, and this line here. Okay, and then of the remaining values, we have got the lowest value of 0 0.05. Okay, and I've only covered this with one, two, three, four lines, um, so I know that I do need to carry on. And let's grab another one of these. Okay, so 0 0.05 needs to be added to the ones where there's two lines that overlap, so that's going to be 0 0.05, 0 0.2, 0 0.16. Zero point zero five, and then all of these remain the same. Zero, 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 zero seven, zero. zero one, and zero point zero. Okay, now the rest of these values I need to um, subtract 0 0.05 from, so that's going to be 0 0.24, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.06, 0 0.04, and 0 0.01, 0 0.15, 0 0.28. 0 0.11 okay and um, let's see if we can get the minimum number of lines again so we've got one down here so that's one I think I'm going to have to go this way so that's two and as you can see it's not going to be possible to do more than one of these in one swoop so it's definitely going to be three four and five okay so I definitely need five lines to cover them all so that tells me that I'm now done it's not possible to cover this in less than five lines so that means that I'm now done okay so I'm going to get rid of all of those lines again so we can see what we've got going on and I now need to decide on what my allocation is going to be. So um, if I label these up again, in green over here, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so um, if I have a look across first of all, I will look down first of all, so B definitely needs to go with 2. So I'm going to say, well, B has to go with 2, so let's do A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so B is going to go with 2, and let's cover that up. So I can't choose B anymore, and I can't choose 2 anymore. Okay, um, anything else? Well, C definitely needs to go with 5. So let's C with 5. And that means I can't choose C anymore. I can't choose 5 anymore. Um, so, looks like D has to go with 1. Okay, so D and 1 are gone. And E must go with 4. And which means that um, A must go with 3. 
Okay, so our allocation here is A to 3, B and 2, C and 5, D and 1, E and 4. Now 5, column 5, was our dummy column. So that means that I'm going to... I'll just write next to it that that's our dummy. So my actual allocation is not going to include that one there. So I've got A3, B2, D1 and E4. Right, so I can now write down the actual times for these. Well, A3, um, so athlete A is going to run leg 3 in 8.98 seconds. Um, and then we've got B2, 9.0 seconds. D1, 10.04 seconds. And E4, that's going to be 8. 7, 4 seconds, and remember we don't include our dummy over here, um, so I now sum all those together, so I've got 8.98 plus 9.06 plus 10.04 plus 8.74. And that gives me a total time of 36.82 seconds. 36.82. So my total time thirty-six point eight two seconds. Okay, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna write down my allocation a little bit more clearly over here. So we've got a B2 D1 E4 um, and that's it that's all we're being asked for um, you might want to compare that to the world record time of 36.84 so it looks like this new team um, is going to beat the 36.84 and take that world record anyway thanks very much for joining me I'll see you next time